was what was sparring Usyk like? Shit, because I knew I knew I only had three rounds with him, so all I had to do was stop him doing what he wanted to do, and that's probably why I've been invited to every. Had I not have had I not have fucked me elbow, I I should have been there now. Um, And Sergey, his manager, has already Mm -hmm. says I'll be part of every camp because for me, I wasn't. I'm, I, I, you've probably seen. I'm not worried about anybody's power. I don't. I've, I've got. Well, a you, here. you've never really been in the ring with me. True. 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 But I've got <laughs> and, a very and, and that ladder. <laughs> right. Uh, can you? Can you? At that point, when you make this a clip, can you please flash up the picture of me and Steve together, where I maybe, maybe, if I put my head up and go on tiptoes, <laughs> come come up to his nipple. <laughs> <laughs> but it, like, like I say, it was. It, you, you could see, for for me, for me, I, I seen seven people kicked out of camp because he was just taking lands on them where they couldn't yeah. do anything with them. But when it was my turn to spar with them, similar to what, what, see if I, if somebody rang me now and says, Stephen, you're fighting Anthony Joshua on Saturday. Yep. I can, it's a three round fight. I've got three rounds to knock them out because. Yep. I'm not going to be able to box him. I'm not nope. going to be able to beat him because he's been sparring for 12 rounds. So I've got three rounds to fucking knock him out. Mm-hmm. That would That's exactly what I thought Joshua would have done Usyk part two. I thought yep. Joshua would have went, right, this is a four-round fight. If I don't knock him out in four rounds, I'm beat. Whether whether I, he knocks us out, whether I'm exhausted and I quit my corner, whatever it may be. So when I knew I was only sparring three rounds with Usyk, it was like, Right, so you like to dance around the ring. You like to come in. You like to pivot to the left. You like so for me, all I had done was wait in my stance, stop him coming in, and every time he looked to come in, I just grabbed him or jabbed him or up. I cut at him because I put the pace on him because I knew yeah. I only had nine minutes in that ring. Yeah. Now had the had Sergey have said you've got two more rounds, he would have fucking knocked us. He would have, he would have, you know, he would have messed us around because yep. I put everything in then three rounds because I knew that's all I had to do. I yep. knew I had three rounds, and I thought, right, I'm here for three rounds to make a show of myself and to stop him doing what he's going to do. And that's that's what I done. And you know, I was the only one that was there at the end of the camp um, nice. who had been there from the from the start. Um, I've been invited back twice now. Um, but unfortunately, obviously, just before, um, I would got Franklin, you know, but he was nothing like Franklin, so we couldn't go back on the on the on that fact. And then after the fight, we, we found out obviously about my elbow, so we, we couldn't go back. But he's already said that. You know, look, not looking past the ball. Come, come yeah. his fight in December with whoever it may be. That I will be part of part of the camp. Um, obviously, should he be fighting um, the six foot seven southpaw who Higovic has got? Then obviously I won't be part of that. But no. can you see that happening? I, I don't know. I, um, I doubt it. I doubt you're going to get Hergovic over, put him on a co-main when you've got some... I think Eddie has some sort of promotional affiliation to Hergovic's people as well. It's just whatever. What was the... um like From from Usyk's perspective, what was his... Cause, you know, he's kind of got like a mystique about him. Is he... What was the physical strength like? What was the the power like? Or was it just... It's just all of it all at once? Um, how are you... Because it, it's accuracy, it was sort of, power. It was it was sort of the the, the fight hadn't even been confirmed. The date hadn't been confirmed, so he still wasn't at his fittest. He still yep. wasn't, you know, we're, 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 we're all wearing twenty ounce gloves. <laughs> so twenty ounce gloves and that's a on. big glove. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you yeah, you you can't really. I don't want to you can't really gauge, you. right? 20-ounce yeah. gloves compared to the 10s yeah. that you fight in, and they're a very different 
sparring gloves are a very different composition to the tens that you fight in as well. Definitely, yeah. You've, you've just hit the nail on that. You can't really engage much. You can engage, you can respect and realize how good he is with his foot movement, getting mm -hmm. around, you know, pivoting, getting in, getting around you, getting around the side of your head, and then being back in front of you. You can, you can appreciate all of that, but power wise, you, you don't really get a, you don't really get to see much and he doesn't do pads so you don't really get to see anything on the pads and bag work is after 15 rounds of sparring he so doesn't do pads at all no pads no pads when i spoke to sergey and asked for pads he just laughed and pretty much <laughs> said there's not many europe eastern europeans do pad work it's not a it's not really in there uh, yeah. To be fair, I've often. never really seen Loma do pads. To be honest, Loma not do pads. He was there. He was there, and I never seen him do pads. And then he moved, he went over to Vegas with his dad. Um, yeah, mm. I, I, he, he said it. He said it's not even in the curriculum of learning boxing from from an early age. Um, kind of makes sense, right? He, he, he said it's not. It's not part of what they do. He says we're, we're spar. We'll do a lot of work. people say we'll pads work. is just kind of like for show now. Like a lot of people just no. use pads for like um, public yeah. workouts and that. And Graham, yeah. Now pads, pads have got their place, right? Let's be honest. Pads have got their place. There's a reason that pads exist. Pads, a, a, as it's used for the flashy combos, have no place. But like, if you, I tell you, I tell you, who's one of the best ones to watch on the pads was always Andre Ward. And Triple G, those two, like Triple G was always like twos, threes, maybe four shots. If you ever, ever saw more than four with like a Triple G or an Andre Ward, you knew that they were flashing a little bit. But then when you see like the Floyd, well, that's like all for show. And... Yeah, exactly. That's all for yeah. show. That's all for Graham. And that's all just to, yeah. so, but even, even the Floyd stuff. The sequences that they do, it's about being able to do that time in, time out, repetition over and over and over and over again. And they time the amount of times they do it. So when we had Gerald Tucker on, he was like, you know, we would do that sequence for 15, 17 minutes straight before the first one to fail. That's why we would do it, because it becomes part of your like neurology. You put your entire instincts of everything that you do, it comes out and it plays. But when you're doing, you know, the t-shirt tied up, giving it the box raw 17 piece combos. It's not the same. Which you would look very handsome in Steve, by the way, I would do pants <laughs> for it like that in a hot. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, do, I don't agree with, I mean, I'm dyslexic. So when I'm doing any more than six, I'm fucked. Um, you know, I might, I may be able to do one, two left hook right or I cut left hook straight right any more than that. It's see you hey, later. You've got gone. a career on strictly, and yeah, <laughs> it's, it's it's gone. Um, so I think the most I do is is you know the, this whole block roll, but I don't block or roll shots anyway. So what's the point in fucking practicing <laughs> it? I'm bad. Me, me face is me blocking tool, and that's that. That's it. That's how it's going to be. So um, you know. But what, what what's the point and what's the point in changing changing something now? It's <laughs> it is what it is. It's you know <laughs> we, we can't we can't we're trying too much to change the world at the minute with with everything you know. So why why well, I'm happy to be who I am and what I'm about and I, I'm not willing to change for anyone or anything. 